Hello YouTubers. In the past I've used an ATX power supply to uh, run my Atari 800XL and I've got a lot of uh, hate <laughs> from uh, doing that. People concerned that uh, you know if something goes wrong with the power supply it's going to destroy my uh, Atari. So I'm going to uh, instead I'm going to create a new connector that uses this uh, old USB connector and I'm going to connect it to the 7 pin DIN that uh, is used by the Atari input. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, strip the uh, outer insulation. I've got this uh, fancy dancy tool here. Makes life a lot easier. I must not have gone all the way around. Okay, so I'll just uh, twist the, the final bit off. There we go. We have the shielding and we have a little bit of braid there. That's uh, for the shielding. We'll just remove that. So here we have the four wires that uh, are in a standard USB cable. And the colors are generally standard, but I'm not going to trust that. So the color sequence is uh, red for plus five volts, white for uh, data minus, green for data plus, and black for ground. If, uh, if this is a standard cable, it should be fairly easy. I don't need the white and the green, and I'll just end up uh, cutting those cables off. Okay, now we're going to check the cable and make sure that it's uh, actually standard. So I uh, check to make sure my multimeter is working properly. And uh, now I'm going to check the, the, the black cable and see whether it is to the extreme right hand side and it is and checking the other pins make sure there's no short and now the red cable should be on the extreme left hand side and it is and I'm going to check the uh, the other pins and make sure there's no short and now I'm going to check the uh, the shield and make sure there's no short either on the red the black there and it's perfect Okay, now it's time to hook up the uh, seven pin connector. Now, looking at the Atari, uh, we can see the con connections here, but uh, there's something very interesting about the, the alignment of all of these pins. Um, it's annoying that they're not in order, but you'll see that all the five volt pins are on one side and all the grounds are on the other side. So all we need to do is short them up. Uh, pin two is the shield and you can choose to connect that or not. Uh, I, at this time I'm just not going to bother. I might hook it up in the future.
Okay, now we're almost at the 11th hour. 7, 3, and 5 connect to the black wire, and 6, 1, and 4 connect to the red wire. Okay, we have our wires connected up. We have the power plugged into a USB adapter, and we're ready to turn it on. Let's see what happens. Fantastic, we have our ready prompt. And that means we're done.